Displayed in the National Gallery of London, the Arnolfini portrait by John van Eyck is one of the most challenging paintings to decode when it comes to hidden symbolism. What does the single burning candle on the chandelier represent? Why is death hidden away in the details of this magnificent art piece? And most importantly, what is John van Eyck trying to tell us? Let's dive in. First of all, who is John van Eyck? Born in 1935, Jan van Eyck was a Flemish painter best known for perfecting the technique of oil painting and using disguised religious symbols. Jan van Eyck's work revolved mainly around naturalism and realism, with many of his paintings having hidden details described by German historian Erwin Panowski as hidden symbolism. A first look at the Arlofini portrait reveals a well-dressed man and a woman holding hands and standing in a dimly lit room. The woman appears to be pregnant and is wearing green and blue, signifying that she's rich, since these dyes were extremely expensive at the time. At the bottom of the painting, we can see a small dog standing near the woman's feet. Just behind the couple, there's a mare hung on the wall. A close inspection of the mare reveals three different reflections in it, two of them being the couple standing in the front, while the third person is most likely John von Eyck himself. On the left side of the painting, we can see cherry trees blooming, revealing that it's summer season. Now, with all that out of the way, let's move on to what all this means. First up, the woman. Well, you might think that she's pregnant. A closer look reveals that she's actually just holding up excess fabric from her dress in a way that makes her look pregnant. Women holding their dress in this way is a common sight in paintings from the 15th century. Having excess fabric in your dress was something that only the rich could afford. And as you're going to see in just a bit, restained luxury is a theme and is going to come up again and again as we analyze this painting. The identity of the man and woman has been a subject of a lot of debate through the years. However, most art historians now believe that the man is Giovanni de Nicolio Arlofini. This revelation came from another painting made by Jan van Eyck, called The Portrait of Giovanni de Nicolio Arlofini, which, as you've probably guessed, was a portrait of Giovanni de Nicolio Arlofini. As for the woman, it was commonly thought that this was his second wife, Giovanna Tsunami. However, a recent discovery made using a document from 1447 showed that Giovanna didn't marry Giovanni until 1447, 13 years after this portrait was made and 6 years after John van Eyck's death. Well, what about Giovanni's first wife? Could this be her? Considering that she died a year before the portrait was made, this is unlikely. But as unlikely as it is, it is way more believable than Jan van Eyck somehow seeing the future and painting Giovanni's bride-to-be. Anyways. Now that we know who the two subjects are, it's time to move on to what they're depicting. There are multiple theories as to what the objects portrayed mean, but popular consensus is that the dog at the woman's feet is there to symbolize the fact that she died. Dogs were often placed at the feet of women in tubes and effigies. At the other end of the painting, we can see a chandelier. While the intricate design of this chandelier is something to marvel at in itself, notice how there is only one candle that's burning and how it's above Giovanni while the other candle above the woman has burned out, subtly pointing at the fact that the woman's life has ended. Interestingly enough, if we zoom into the back of the painting, we can see paintings of Jesus around the mirror. A closer inspection of these paintings show that the ones near Giovanni depict Jesus when he was alive, whereas the ones near the deceased illustrate Jesus' death and resurrection. Now, while all this might make you think that this painting indeed has symbols that directly relate to the woman's death, some art historians disagree. Many suggest that the singular lit candle in the chandelier signifies that God is one, while the dog at the woman's feet symbolizes wealth. Wealth is also a reoccurring theme in the Arnolfini portrait. The first indication of the couple being wealthy comes from their clothes. Starting from the top, we can see the man wearing a plated straw hat, an accessory popular in the summer at the time. The woman has her hair styled to look like horns and is wearing a white veil. As we move downward, the man appears to be wearing a purple fur tabard, while the woman is wearing a green gown with a blue dress peeking under it. Both the color blue and green were extremely expensive at the time this portrait was made, and only the extremely wealthy could afford this. Interestingly, the color blue was also associated with royalty. However, as we see later in the video, the couple, while extremely rich, was not part of the aristocracy. One more thing you'll notice about the fabric of the woman's dress is the sheer quantity of it. Dresses of this size needed a personal maid to carry the dress in order to prevent the wearer from tripping on it. Another sign of the wealth of the couple are the oranges on the right side of the painting. 
fresh fruit was a delicacy few could afford in the 15th century, and oranges just spread carelessly on the table, hint at the hidden wealth of the couple. Moving on to the elephant in the room, what does the holding of hand signify? It has been theorized that the Arnolfini portrait is actually about marriage. Look at the open window on the man's side in contrast to the bed and broom on the woman's side. The open window signifies the man's role and his duty to the outside world, whereas the bed and broom signify the traditionally assumed responsibilities of wife. The red color of the bed is also symbolic of passion and hints once again at the wife's responsibility. If you look at the bottom of the portrait, you'll notice that neither of our subjects is wearing their shoes. Being barefoot is symbolic of fertility. A detail you might have missed when looking at the painting is a carving over the marital bed depicting St. Margaret, the patron saint of childbearing, implying the couple's desire for a healthy family. According to some historians, the dog at the woman's feet symbolized fidelity within the marriage. Others have linked the same death to death. Similarly, the same oranges that were previously connected to a hidden show of wealth now symbolize the sin of lust, a reference to the apple eaten by Adam and Eve. This was done perhaps to remind the couple not to fall prey to the sin of lust. With all these conflicting symbols, you can guess just how difficult it is to come to a conclusion. Let's dig deeper into the marriage ceremony. While this marriage might not seem normal at first, notice how the man has his left hand and the woman's right hand, and rather than holding her hand with the right one, this signifies a left-handed marriage, an alliance of unequal stature in which the woman was forced to give up all of her usual assets and inheritance. A process similar to that of a modern-day morganatic wedding between a European royal prince and a regular person. What does all this mean? Well, we can come up with two different conclusions. The first is that the Arnolfini portrait is indeed a wedding portrait and has religious imagery to showcase how the couple is trying for a baby. The second is that it's about the death of Giovanni's wife and the symbolism is about her death and how God is watching over her. The only thing consistent in both of these scenarios is that the couple is extremely rich. However, the artwork utilizes the concept of restrained luxury and conveys the degree of their wealth through hidden symbols. Lastly, the expert use of layering through oil paints, a technique developed and popularized by Jan van Eyck himself, is also noteworthy. The technique is best seen in the stained glass just above the window and the dimly lit beads of the prayer beads hung near the back of the room. Jan van Eyck was one of the few artists during the 15th century that signed their work, and the inscription just above the mirror spells just that. It reads, Johannes de Eyck, 1434, which translates to Jan van Eyck was here, 1434. Truly a masterpiece. Click on one of the two videos on your screen right now.